Where was I? Oh yeah, right. Um, yeah, like Ken was Ken Levine was saying that you know, given the setting, it being like 1912 and stuff, that not only is there you know re religious undertones, but because it's 1912 and the way society was and things like that, there were a lot of even really like a lot of racial undertones and and things like that. And that, you kind of see a little bit of that, not necessarily the racial undertones, but a lot of just a little bit of the sort of religious undertones when you're in the lighthouse, because Booker is kind of looking around when he first enters the lighthouse, and there's like some sort of religious quote that looks like it's from like the Bible or something, and then he ends up walking up a set of stairs, like a spiral staircase, and as he keeps walking up the stairs, the more of that same quote or whatever it was, the phrase that was clearly religious, continues. Like, it keeps going up the stairs, and then he sees a guy, you know, I'm not gonna really go into a lot of it because you guys need to watch it for yourselves to just kind of see what I'm talking about, but they really just kind of set the mood and they really just kind of sell you on this is what's going on this is how weird it could possibly get just, they basically just really really set up the atmosphere very well right from the beginning and if you just just go watch it, the the trailer i mean if you see it you'll know what i'm talking about just the way the setting is and how it's going to be kind of crazy and a little bit strange but also interesting at the same time and it opens with a really interesting quote um, from a book that had to do with trans-dimensional transportation or trans-dimensional travel and by some guy I don't honestly don't even know who he is but the quote said it was by R. Lucette I think that's how you say it from 1889 and it was a it just seemed like a very interesting quote and it was it said it was from a book I don't know if R. Lucette or whatever wrote it but it said it was from a book called uh, Trans Dimensional Travel or something like that and it was just it was a really interesting sort of quote and I feel like giving I feel like given everything that we know about the game and everything that sort of about the game and the way it opened with that quote and sort of the way that that trailer or the gameplay ended I feel like they're almost in a way kind of wanting you to sort of guess or figure out what exactly is going on with this character of Booker and the city of Columbia and and everything that's happening in Bioshock. I feel like they're kind of doing that on purpose, but at the same time, if they're not, I feel like from the way, again, from the way it opened with that quote and the way it ended, I feel like almost kind of, I can sort of figure out what is gonna happen given everything, especially, especially with the way that quote was, with the way that quote opened, and sort of the meaning behind it, I feel like I know what's going, what's going to go on in Bioshock and what's going to, with Bioshock Infinite and what's going to happen with, or what is happening with the character of, of Booker and things like that. But then again, knowing Bioshock, it's probably something that I would never see coming and would end up being way off like I did with the first Bioshock and the whole thing with Andrew Ryan and and Atlas and everything like that. So there's that possibility that I could also just be way off, which is also really good and really exciting too because when it comes to really narrative driven things like that and especially with something like Bioshock where it just kind of sets it up itself up with a very strong president I like being surprised. I mean, the the first the the twist in the first Bioshock was 
what made me love that first game. Not necessarily as a game, but just in the sense of story, it was one of the greatest twists that I had ever that I have experienced ever, whether it was in a book or a movie or whatever. Just from a story-driven narrative standpoint, it the original Bioshock's twist was one of the best twists I've ever experienced. So if if Infinite can do the same thing, then that's awesome. That's just I I can't wait. I think March is going to be probably one of the best months for next year because Bioshock is coming out and Tomb Raider is coming out. But just knowing that Bioshock is done and that they're kind of just delayed it a little bit just by like a week just to give it a little bit more time to really kind of polish it and refine it a little bit more. I'm all for. I mean, I never have a problem when games get delayed when it's for something bad, when it's for something good, when they want to spend more development time on it to work out the bugs or the kinks or just kind of make it more polished and refined. I feel like that's a really good de decision and I don't know why people bitch and complain about that. Probably because those people are stupid. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm still here. Things are still going on. I have a little bit of time off from school because I've just been going and going and going and going like nonstop and I haven't really, still haven't really come back from that. I still feel like I just need to keep going. I still feel like I have work I need to do, like homework and like stuff like that. I've been able to catch up on some sleep, which was great, but... I mean, other than that, I just, I'm just trying to just kind of get my feet back on the ground and everything. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, everything is everything. And I'm still here, and I'm glad I got some time off, so I'll be able to catch up on a whole bunch of stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to catch up some, some games, but, I mean... There's a lot of other things that I've been missing, like a bunch of movies that i still got to get caught up on and stuff. I'm finally tackling my pile of comics that's been piling up over the past month and a half. So, yeah, take it easy, and I'll see you guys next time.